What's up guys, John Grimsmore here bringing you a Saga Saturday. It is actually Saturday, nobody else is here. Uh, Saturday morning I got in at seven and Blade Show is next weekend, so I have some work to do ahead of me. Clips are finally done. Uh, real quick recap, all that drilling problem I had, I think one of my tool holders was not tightened fully, like there's these set screws. Uh, we were able to crank those another quarter turn, that's a big deal. And uh, I forget, there was something else, I forget. Will helped me figure that out. Uh, he was he was here visiting the other day. Anyway, clips are done-ish. I made a bunch, I'm happy they're good enough. Um, like they're, they're great, but I've made enough. I mean, I wish I could just, it's all set up. I wish I could just run a thousand more, but that's not likely. Um, I gotta make other parts. There are seven machine components in this pen. I have six more machine components to make times however many clips I made. Let me show you. So I've already made prototypes weeks ago. This is everything. Um, and it's really good to lay it out on a clean thing. I'm lay and, and then I can figure out the order that I need to make everything, which is really handy. Um, so I'm going to choose this order. Angelo and I, Angelo is a process engineer in aerospace. So he's got like 12 years experience doing this kind of stuff. Um, he helped me figure this out. So we did clips. They're the most challenging, the hardest thing. Everything else is easier. I'm going to do the tip today. Uh, I'll be making them from titanium. This one is brass. I'm working on the tube next. And then uh, really only critical things here are the threads. I want a solid, nice, tight thread fit between the two. And I have thread gauges on order, but they're not here yet, so that's a bummer. So I'm just going to have to wing it. I'll Maybe I'll do a three-wire measurement, or I'll just make it work. Um, and then the slider, which is also titanium. So if I make that, that, and that, these four parts get tumbled and anodized. So then if I have these ready by Monday when the guys are back, then they will be able to tumble those and uh, get them anodized ahead of time. And then I have these three parts for the mechanism left. Technically that's a mechanism part two. 17-4 um, stainless steel, this can be whatever, but I'm probably gonna make it from titanium. This will also be 17-4 stainless steel. Uh, so, I will leave those three for probably Monday's project. If I can get enough of these three components made over the weekend, I will be a happy man. Not sure how much I'm going to be able to film while I'm crunching away because I just, I need to focus. having a microscope I get to check all the details like that one I don't like that one <sighs> What up guys, it is Sunday, I'm back at it again. I made one part yesterday. One part in the four hours I was here. So I had to stop because I ran out of time. Uh, interesting thing, it was stuck in the, or it was being drilled in the sub collet and this was actually slipping in the collet because I'm not used to turning up the pressure so much. So that's a new thing for me. Um, so I got to turn up the pressure of the clamping there. It didn't drill all the way through, as you can see. Uh, a couple tweaks that I made. Here's an old one to a new one. Check out the profile. I made it pointier, and I'm really, really happy with, uh, I think, how that's going to turn out. It's, it's going to look a lot better. This one looked kind of stubby and chunky. 
like I've got a uh, Fellholter tie bolt here, an excellent pen. I've had this for a few years. Bought it from Brian at one of the blade shows. Um, always loved it, except it's a little chunky. And I wanted something slimmer and sleeker uh, just to tie into the lines of the pen better. And I think this is gonna work really well. So time to make the next one with a ton more tweaks. And here we go. And the threads on this one suck. I gotta go way deeper. Going super duper well today, very happy with progress. We have some titanium tips and uh, going really well. So I busted out the egg crate. Uh, this one here is number two, but making some revisions. This is super handy. I don't do this often enough because the parts I make are so tiny and I don't normally go through so many revisions, but it's super handy to remember uh, the stage of progression. Here's a little problem I've been having. The last burr gets kicked off because I do chamfer the inside of the part. So I'm chamfering too big and it's cutting through the root of the thread. Uh, so I can't chamfer so big obviously. And then we're getting better, we're getting better. This last one turned out pretty good except now I noticed it's folding the last thread down into the threads. So that's not good either. Um, so I gotta tweak that. But going good I mean look at that look at that so I added some little detail here there's both a groove and a tiny chamfer to blend in with the next part the the tubes that I make next will also have that slight groove so let me pull up my fusion model here and maybe you can see take off analysis So this is my theory. All right, a groove on the tip, half a groove, tiny chamfers, half a groove, and a groove. Um, so it'll it'll be a detail, it'll be a feature to blend the two together because the tubing that we're using is a solid size. We're not turning the outside at this stage. Eventually we might get into drilling through and turning the OD, but for now, that's fine. I'm, I'm just using tubing and then Sometimes there's the oddest little mismatch if you want them to be perfect together so you kind of feel it. So to be able to put this little hack in there that's, it's a detail but it's also a feature, it doesn't let you feel any imbalance so much anymore. We got the same thing going up at the clip here. We need little chamfers on each side to blend them together. Otherwise, you feel it, like I can feel it here on this one because this tube has a burr on it. So once the tubes have those little details, then they'll be good. And the tube should be able to be reversible because I don't really want to care during assembly if it's upside down or right side up. So I want it to be completely flippable. And uh, that's where we're at. So now we have a titanium tip. Very happy with the new changes. Um, I forget if I mentioned this already. Aaron, if I have, then you don't have to keep it. But I just made a post on Instagram talking about it, so I'm confused what I've, what I've talked about already. The um, taper is shallower. I felt like, I did already talk about this, because I brought up the, the tie bolt. Anyway, so you don't have to keep that. I also made the engravings not as deep, because this one, you know, it was in brass, it was the first one I made two months ago, and uh, everybody who held the pen and were honest about it kind of noticed these are kind of too deep, they're kind of too grippy, and uh, yeah, so I made the new ones shallower, I think this is perfect, adds just a little bit of uh, texture and detail, and doesn't look too overpowering, I love it.
And now we could anodize it too. Might do that eventually. I tumbled this one for about 15 minutes. Uh, it needs more, but it really helps to blend uh, the finish. Guys, I'm really happy with this. It's been a while since I've gone full Grimsbo, like full deep on a new project and uh, certainly something this big. Like I've made a thing, I've made a fixture, I've made an adapter, I've made a something. But seven different components that each have, like today I'm on code version 15. I've gone through, not quite zero, I might've started a couple high, but tweak. 13, tweak, 14, tweak, 15 on the lane. And uh, yeah, I'm on 15 now. I think I'm good for today. I gotta go home in about 16 minutes, so I have enough time to make finish this part and make one more. Um, the tip itself takes seven minutes, which is kind of a lot. But but yeah, seven minutes for the tip, it's, it's kind of a lot, but there's detail in it. And I, I'm not gonna sacrifice the detail. I love the detail, anyway. But yeah, this thing is seriously coming together and making me very happy and encompassing everything that I like in a design. Uh, you know, the clip is always super important. That's why I'm spending so much time getting it right. It's sleek. I don't know if you noticed. I don't know if you can see in this, but it tapers down one degree because a square clip just didn't look right. Like our knife clips, this is ancient. This is Norseman number one from 2012. But notice how the clip tapers down ever so slightly. This is probably more like four degrees or something. But the pen clip, one degree taper. Ooh, I love it. And just everything. Everything gets thought about. Everything gets touched. Everything gets detailed. It's what I love to do. All right, I am out of here for the day. That was my weekend. Uh, I made one last change. I just don't have time to run it right now. So I wrote a note to myself, ready to test. That way when I come in tomorrow morning, I know, okay, it is good to go. I left it in a good place. So yeah, excited. I think last change, as long as I get the threads, uh, threads dialed in, then we're good to go. Then I gotta make as many as I'm gonna make and then move on to the other parts. If that's the end of this video, thanks for watching. More coming soon.